this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up review avatars in Elementor. Now, this is what we're going to be creating. I'm sure you've seen this before on plenty of websites where they want to go ahead and build trust for their brand. So this is going to be completely mobile optimized. As you can see here, we can shrink it. No problemo. Oops, let's remove that there. As you can see, it's completely mobile optimized. And that is what we're going to be creating here. So I hope you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and begin here. Open up your Elementor editor. For those of you guys wondering, I'm using an Elementor Pro template. This is the doctor consultation, I believe. Uh, let me just double check so you guys know. Yeah, it's called the doctor's online consultation. In case you guys want to use this template here, um, feel free to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to add our little review avatar bubbles here. So I'm going to drop a container right under this. And let me just try to see if I can get it there. You know what? I'm going to drop it maybe over here and then just see if I can just drop it down here. There we go. Okay. So let's go into our elements and let's grab an image, drop it in here. Let's go ahead and go into our style. Let's make our border radius 100. And don't worry, we're going to end up uh, shrinking this. So it's going to be fully rounded into a circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into advance with custom and we're going to do pixels. It's very important. Make sure you do pixels and then we're going to do 70 pixels. There we go. Okay. So make sure that that is 70 pixels. And then as far as the height, this should also be 70 pixels. And then we're going to have this set to cover. Okay. Just like this. And let's go ahead and add an image in here. So cover, center, center. Let's go to content. Let's go ahead and grab an image. And we're going to be using this image here. And in case you're wondering where I grabbed these uh, headshots, I just went to Pexels and I just typed in headshots. Okay, so click on select. There we go. So we have our image, first image there, which is perfect. And you can go ahead and add a link to this if you wanted to maybe add it to a um, specific review, or even if you're going to add this into maybe a team member, you can do that as well. Okay. So now what we want to do is just duplicate this. Let's have about four of them. So that should be perfect there. And then let's go ahead and click on our main container. Let's go to advanced. Let's remove the padding. Let's go back to layout. Let's set this to a row, horizontal. We don't need any gaps, so let's set this to zero. I feel like this, these are a little bit too big, so let's make these a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is click on the first one, and let's set this to 60 instead. And let's do the same to our, go back to style there, go to your height, set this to 60. Now just right click the first image element that you added the styles to and then just right click the rest of them and hit paste style. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now what we want to do is go into our first image here. Let's go into advance. Let's give us a class. We're going to call this review dash avatar and then let's copy this CSS class and let's paste it on each of them okay. 
we could just right click and, and hit paste style and that would do the same thing but we're gonna do it this way okay so that's all set now now what we want to do is apply our CSS to all of these except for the first one there's gonna be some limitations on this one so let's click on our main container let's go into advanced custom CSS and we're gonna go ahead and type in or you know what we saved it so we can do dot review avatar dash review avatar so now we want to go ahead and apply um, we want to go ahead and bring these to the left here and have a little bit of an overflow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do margin left and we're gonna do about negative 10 pixels okay uh, let's do a little more let's do negative 13 okay I think that's fine now the problem that we're facing here is that we're also applying it to this one and it's moving it outside our container and that's what we don't want so what we're gonna do is after our class here we're gonna do a um, colon and then we're gonna go ahead and type in not we're gonna add some oval brackets there and we're gonna type another colon and we're gonna do um, first dash child now it's still not gonna work but once we hit update and we preview this for some reason it doesn't apply it in the editor which is strange but as you can see it does work here see how it's not overlapping now if we remove it we can even test it out just to see right or you know what sorry that was probably the wrong thing to do if we remove it here and I save it you can see that it does overlap so that's what we don't want okay so we're gonna have this this is good now what we want to do if we want to have like a hover effect right um, but we may be missing something we want to go ahead and add a border on these actually so I'm gonna click on my first element and I'm gonna add a go to style go to border type and let's do solid let's set this to white maybe do about two we can't see it yet with this one but don't worry if we copy this and paste it on the rest of these Oops. you can start to see it there we go now feel free to change it to whatever color you would like we could even change it to a blue color if you wanted to uh, but I'm gonna leave it like this I think that looks fine what I could do as well is instead of um, two I can do three pixels there maybe have it come out a little more and if you had a little bit of a grayer background, it would stand out a little more, but this works for now. We can see here, right? Um, so let's go back into our main container, go to advance, and let's adjust our CSS here. So the next thing I want to do is maybe add like a hover effect, where I can hover over this and have it pop out. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, dot review dash avatar. We're going to do a colon, hover, and then we're going to put our brackets here. And we want to go ahead and have it um, just, you know, scale up a little bit, right? So what we're going to do is transform, scale, oval brackets, and we want it to scale maybe a 1.3. Should be fine. Let's see. Okay. Maybe a 1.2. I think that looks pretty good. The only issue is that we don't have a transition effect and it doesn't really pop out all the way. It's still, as you can see when you hover over this, it's still under this element, this other image here. So um, what I'm gonna do here is add a Z index. So Z index, we're gonna do of just one. It's really all we need. So now you can see that it actually does pop out 
and it's not under another image element. But I kind of don't like how it's kind of rough. I want a transition effect where it's kind of smooth. So what I'm going to do is bring all these down and I'm going to target my review avatar again. And I'm going to do a transition. Transition, transform, because that's what we're targeting. Um, transition, transform, we're targeting this one here. We're going to do um, zero point, let's just do 0 0.4 seconds. And we're going to do an ease, okay? And then now you can see it's looking a lot better. But maybe we want a little bit quicker than that, right? Let's do it too. So, still kind of smooth. I still like it. Okay. Perfect. So, we have that going now. Let me update it just to make sure it gets saved. Let's go ahead and add maybe uh, some review stars and just, you know, some text here. Letting people know that these are reviews. So, what we can do now is add another container inside our main container. And we may need to just drag it in there if we can. Okay, we'll have to use, open up your um, navigator. And we'll have to just bring it up here first. And then we'll bring it down here. There we go. So we know that it's inside our main container. So now we have this inner container. Um, of course, we're going to shrink it and everything. But before we do that, let's add some text here. And then let's add our stars. So go to your elements and type in stars. You can just do rating stars. I mean, it's called ratings. So just type in rating. Let's set it to the top here. That's fine. Now I kind of like this style of text. So I'm just going to copy this style here. And of course, uh, if you guys want to get the exact style of that, let me bring that up. It's going to be uh, this one here, man rope. Um, the weight is 300 light and then it's 15 for the size. So, um, the text, I'm going to just have it black. That's fine. And I'm going to maybe do, let's see, let's do about 200 plus reviews, right? Um, so I think that looks good for now. So I think this looks this is fine. So let's click on our main, our sorry, our inner um, container. Let's go into advanced and let's go ahead and re remove the padding there. And then the problem with this right now um, is that you can see that these are not really the proper size. So we just need to shrink this. So click on your element here, your uh, your inner container, go into layout, and then we just gotta shrink this out a little bit. Okay, make sure it sets a full width there. Perfect. So we'll just do that. So now from here, we need to go ahead and maybe give it some padding from the left. So click on your main container, go into advance. Let's give it about maybe 10. And I want to give it a little bit more uh, breathing room because when we start to shrink this a little bit, we may have issues. So let's go back into our inner container, go to layout, and let's just give this a little bit more breathing room here. Maybe 20 should be fine. Okay. Um, let's remove the gap. I noticed we have some gap. Let's do 10 instead. Um, and then let's set this to the, to the center here. Oops, set this to the start. The justified content should be to the center. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, that's looking pretty good. So, and of course you can add whatever you would like. If you want to change this, you can add a little more to this. It's really up to you. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and just view it on mobile and tablet or tablet and mobile. So um, we want to go ahead and make this box a little bit longer. So let's just adjust this. It's set to pixels, as you can see here. Let's set this to a percentage and then bring this to the side here. Let's do, that should be pretty good, about 29. Okay. So um, this is still looking pretty good, but it's, we kind of want it to in the center. 
So let's go ahead and just bring this to the center. Let's click on our main container there. Let's go to layout. And then let's set this to the um, justify content center. Okay, perfect. So we can see there we have no problem. It moves a little bit, but it's really just because it's set to a percentage. But what we could do instead is set this to a pixel and then adjust it. But we're going to have to do maybe like 150 or just to be precise, we can do like one, 130, 110, that's still 110. So it won't move that much when we move this. You see, it does stay still. So that's what you can do instead. Um, so now let's go into, what we could do actually is shrink this a little bit more. So let's click on, um, on our avatar here. Let's go into um, advance and maybe instead of 60, we can do 50, right? So you could do that and then just paste it. Oop, you know what, I forgot about one thing. Let's go to style on our first element. Do the same thing for this one, 50, there we go. So you could do that, it is really small, honestly. I might just not do that, so yeah. Oh, you know what, that thing looks fine. Um, but I think it would have been more appropriate for mobile. So let's go into mobile, but I wanted to show you guys that there. So we have a little bit of an issue here. Let's click on our main container. Let's go into layout. Let's click no wrap. So we don't want this to wrap and be under each other. So we need to go ahead and shrink this um, inner container. Let's set this to pixel again. And then for some reason it doesn't allow us to go or, you know, use this bar to go under 500, but we can just um, hack that and just put, and just manually type it in. So I can do 100, 110, oops, there we go. And we can shrink these now. So let's click on this one here. Let's do 50 and let's do 50 here. Go to your advanced and go 50, copy, paste it to the rest of them. And there you have it. So. And the scale is fine, so you don't got to worry about that. Well, that's all looking good, and you can see here it's still fine, so not a problem. Let's go ahead and hit update. All right, perfect. Um, let's go into inspect. Let's go ahead and just drag it down. So we have that issue that we got to fix right there, but we'll fix that right now. Um, okay, so that looks good. Tablet looks pretty good. Mobile, mobile looks good. Okay, look at that. The only thing that we got to fix is right here. We have that issue, so that's an easy fix. Let's go to desktop. And really, we just need to give it a little bit more breathing room over here. So we can do 25 or something. 25 should be fine, I believe. We could even just set it to a pixels. That's fine, too. Um, instead of the percentage, but we can also just do it this way. Okay, looks like we're getting still that issue. So what I'm going to do instead is just set this to pixels. And we kind of knew that it was around 120 around there. So let's just do, do that. Because as we shrink this, it, since it's, it was a percentage, it would shrink this box as well, since it's going by the screen size, since it's a percentage of the screen. Okay, so as you can see, now that's all good. And there we have it. So, it's perfect. Okay, that's it for this video. I thought it was just something that I should share. It was pretty fun and should be pretty quick to do. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoyed.